Yeah, hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to User One Productions. This is my third tutorial on how to make a Slenderman clone inside of Unity. In today's video we're actually going to be adding a page counter script so that way we have a visual as to how many pages we've collected out of X amount. As always my friends, in the description down below is my Google Drive and I have all my scripts, models, sound effects, etc. for a free download on there for you guys to use, learn, and adapt to for your own games or needs. Also in the description is my Discord channel with over 400 people that are willing to help, talk to, or just answer questions that you guys might have about Unity or your specific project. With all that being said, my friends, let's dive into this tutorial and see how we get a page counter inside of our game. So here we are inside of Unity. This is the test map I have been using inside the tutorial series. If you guys did not watch the first or second part, please go watch those first because we're going to be using systems within those tutorials and adapting them to how we need the rest of the tutorial series to go. Right off the bat, my hierarchy is definitely getting a little cluttered here. So what I'm going to do is add a empty game object and call this pages. And then I'm going to grab all the page objects and just click and drag them into there. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make my game view pretty big here. And inside of my player, inside of HUD, I'm going to right click, create an empty. I'm going to call this page counter. And inside that page counter, I'm going to go UI raw image. And this is just going to be the background for the page counter. I'm going to make this a gray color with a little bit of transparency to it. We're going to go about 150 on the transparency side, I think. I'm going to do the width to, let's see how 300 by 75 looks. That looks pretty good. Let's actually double click it, go to orthographic view, and view it from the front inside a scene. And I'm going to click and drag that over to the top left corner. Something like that. We're actually going to change the width to about 400. Actually, that's a little too much. Let's do, let's do 350 by 100. That looks better. Make it a little darker. And now on page counter, I'm going to go right click UI raw image. And this is going to be the page counter icon. So if you guys have not already, please visit my Google Drive. I have slender tutorial underscore three inside of that. And that's where I have everything that we're going to be using for today's tutorial. So on the page counter icon, we want to go to our UI inside the slender tutorial underscore three. And I actually have this as a raw image, but a actual image probably would be better, especially for a sprite, but for tutorial sake, this is fine. So let me actually click and drag that over here to the left side of my box I've made. And I'm gonna scale it up a little bit so it looks bigger, so it almost looks like it's popping out of the UI element right there. And now if I press play, this is what it's going to look like inside of my game. It is a little different because the original Slenderman did not have a page counter, but this is my tutorial series and this is what I wanted to add inside for you guys. So that's looking nice. So now the page counter UI element, let's go to UI and add a text. And this is going to be the actual counter for it. In the text, I'm going to add 99 slash 99, just so we can actually see what it looks like. Let's add our UI text, the horror text to it that we downloaded from the second tutorial. And I'm going to change that to, let's see how 40 looks. Make sure your width is bigger. So let's do 250 and the height we're going to do to 75. Center it on the alignment. And then I'm going to click and drag that over here like so. And actually with the rectangle tools, I'm just going to make this the size of this box here like this. I'm going to change the text to, let's do white so it pops out from our UI element. And I'm actually going to make the text a little bigger. Let's see how 55 looks. It's still a little small. Let's do 60. I like how that looks. I'm going to bring it in a tidbit like this. And with that, I'm actually going to change the background a little more like this. Just takes a little playing around with to actually get the look you're trying to achieve. Uh, that looks good to me. We can collapse the page counter inside of our HUD that we just did and our player. We're going to right click in the hierarchy and add another empty game object. We're going to call this game logic. And then we want to add a tag, which is going to be called game logic. Make sure it's tagged. 
And then inside of the Slender Tutorial 3, let's go to Scripts, and there's a Game Logic script in there. Obviously, that's going on the empty game object we just created. Let's actually open that script up to see what it's doing so far. This is where we're going to be adding everything that we need to know about the game. For example, in the very beginning, I have a public game object for our counter, which is the 99 slash 99 text object we just created. We have a public integer for page count, which is going to identify how many pages we have uh, currently. So in the start function, when we start the game, we want to make sure we have no pages. That's why it's set to zero. And then the counter, the text object, we want to make sure the text equals our page count integer plus and I have it slash eight. Uh, you want to change this eight right here to whatever your uh, game has. So if you have six, change that to six. If you have 74, add that to 74. But in my instance, I'm going to stick to eight. So let's go to the game logic and bring from player HUD page counter. Let's add the counter here. And now notice it says 99 slash 99. As soon as we play the game, it's 0 slash 8. Okay, so let's go collect a page, and you'll notice nothing happens. And this is because we haven't set that up yet. So, in the last tutorial, we grabbed our pages and added a collect page um, script to it. So you can either follow what I do and adjust this accordingly, or again, inside your Slender Tutorial 3 folder, the new script will be there and you'll just have to plug that into all of your pages again, like the last tutorial. So what I'm actually going to do is go private game object. Here you guys go a little bit of scripting for you. And I'm just going to call this game object game logic. In our start function, we want to make sure we get that game logic equals game object dot find with tag. And what do we tag it as? Game logic. So now that we have our game logic object identified, what we want to do is when we pick up the page, the very beginning, we want to go game logic dot get component. And we're going to grab the component of game logic, which is grabbing the script attached to this game logic object. And specifically, we want to grab the page count and we want to go plus equals one. I will be saving that and then going back to Unity and make sure we have no errors. Very nice. So let's play the game. We have zero out of eight. And when I go over to a page and pick it up, nothing is happening. Why? Why is nothing happening? The reason this isn't working is very simple. Uh, so the reason is inside of our game logic, we have the void start function, which is called as soon as the game is started, uh, it never updates what our text object is changing to. So what we need to do is actually bring this, uh, this line of code into the update function and delete it from the start. Uh, mistake on my part, in your script, this will be set up and ready to go. So now if we try it, maximize on play, play the game, zero out of eight, and now it starts counting beautifully. And that is the basics on how to get a page counter working inside of a Slenderman clone. This is gonna be the end of tutorial number three, another little quick one, but it's effective and it helps your game actually start becoming more alive. In tutorial number four, we're actually gonna be making the Slenderman map um, I'm going to be modeling all the original assets from the original game and then actually building a terrain inside of Unity to make it kind of resemble that original Slender Man. Until the next time, my friends, this is User One Production signing off for now. If you guys did enjoy this video, please want to drop me a like, subscribe if you're new, and join our Discord. And I'll catch you all in the next one. It's User One Production signing off for now. Peace.